Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to Post Op. This is my brand new Zomboid series. With this one I'm going for more of a supernatural isekai kind of feel. The idea is that what if when I had my surgery last year I woke up in this world, in this zombie apocalypse scenario, instead of our world. The goal will be to make it back to a location in Louisville, but more on that in a bit. Don't mind me using a trash bag for a purse because I'm a loot goblin and I'm going to be taking everything that isn't nailed down in this facility. And as we start the series, you'll see that the zombie population is pretty low, but as we progress through the first week, um, the population's going to ramp up quite dramatically. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys, this was not my first attempt. As you can see here, I was brutalized by a brute. It hadn't even been five minutes since I started. All I had to my name was a scalpel, a packet of sugar, and a dream. I'll just... I'll just let you watch what happens. Everything that could go wrong was going wrong. And I really don't know how I got out of this situation with just two lacerations. I thought I was done for. And then this lady showed up and decided to ruin my day even more. And I knew the only way I was going to get the advantage on them was to stomp them when they jumped through a window. She came through just fine, but he decided to bang on that board. And as I stood there thinking about what to do, another one showed up. I knew I couldn't fight him one on one, so I decided to leave. And then I quickly realized the back door was barricaded and I was running out of options. So I just decided to make a run for it. And that wasn't even the worst thing that was going to happen in that run. But uh, back to the present for a moment, while I continue looting this clinic. The main mods I'm using are 10 years later and CDDA zombies. There's a few others, but those are the main ones for now. I'll list them in the description if you guys are interested to know which ones I'm using. After the brute attack, I had to turn down the difficulty on CDDA zombies by just a bit. I'm just not used to zombies that are that aggressive yet. Speaking of mods though, in my previous run, I did not realize I had Please Don't Feed the Zombies on until it was too late. I had been in this housing area slash alley killing dozens of zombies when half the town decided to show up at once. I quickly turned off the game and disabled that mod, but things continued to get worse. At that point in that run, Please Don't Feed the Zombies was off, but brutes were still very active. Much to my detriment, ooh, a plunger, I'll be taking that. I am armed and I'm not afraid to use it, zombies. Watch out, this toad is hopping mad. So mad, in fact. I'm still pretty peeved about what happened in the previous run. I found an ambulance, and within it was a trauma bag. I was going to take it and use it to store my extra weapons I had found in a survivor house. It was actually quite a big cache of weapons, and I thought my run was going really, really well. I looked around to see if any zombies were nearby and didn't see any. And just when you think it's safe to sort your bags, you let your guard down, and then the worst always happens to you. A brute runs up and bites you in the ass. So yes, brutes are now disabled, no zombie evolving, and please don't feed the zombies is not on this time on Toad's second incarnation here. We're going to need all the anti-sad pills we can find. Already have a garbage bag, don't need that. Empty. And I think that's it for this room. Yeah, let's head to the next one. Oh, yes, before I forget, uh, traits. We have anti-gun activist, slow healer, pacifist, bad teeth, because, you know, the dental surgery, nearsighted, Sunday driver, quiet, lucky, scrounger, antique collector, keen hearing, and pack mule. A lot of these are from the more traits mod. And since I don't plan on using a car in this run, or guns, that's why I took the anti-gun and Sunday Driver traits. 
We just got a pencil, so let me show you the plan. So here we are in March Ridge. I picked March Ridge because it's not really often that featured in videos. And this is where we originally spawned in Louisville. I used debug mode to teleport us to the location in March Ridge. The reason I did that is because I wanted a completely random location to have to get back to for the challenge. There's no time limit. I don't think a time limit really makes it fun. And also, no cars. I used a car in the my original challenge, the prisoner evacuation one. And I really feel like that gave me too much of an advantage. It made the challenge not as, well, challenging. So no cars this run. We have to get there on foot. Also, something I want to focus on for this series is more of an RP style. So we're going to be taking small items like toothbrushes, toothpaste, just things a real person would need to survive with some semblance of sanity in this world. Nothing too major, I just feel like Zomboid really lacks realism when it comes to efficiency. So for example, even though I picked up the resources to stitch my deep head wound, I won't be having my character do that until she, you know, is out of a panic situation here of waking up in this world. She has time to find a bathroom where she can give herself painkiller to do the procedure. Something like that, you know, instead of just, you know, you know, hopping right up and, you know, let's let's stitch my wound shut. She's still just kind of running on the adrenaline of waking up here and trying to figure out what the heck is going on. You know, wound pain comes later. She's focusing on survival right now. Alright, so with that out of the way, we looted the clinic. Got everything we could. Tucked away in our nice little trash bag here. I see a zombie. Just gonna ignore him for now and see if I can find anything in these cars over here. We have basically nothing for skills. <laughs> Got our next zombie. I have learned that with uh, CDDA, the fat zombies, you can't really push them over. You have to have a weapon to defeat them. Not really interested in your loot this time. Oh my goodness, that is a great find just right off the bat. Well, right off the axe. I'll take that screwdriver as well. We don't really need carpentry. I'll take the duct tape. Anything in the toolbox? Nope. That fire axe is going to be a real boon. I can't believe we found it just in the trunk of this car. It's got to be the lucky and scrounge scrounger trade, I guess. I don't know why I'm checking the cars. I'm not going to be using them. I guess it's just habit from regular playthroughs. Just put that in the glove box. Don't need that. I see you heading my way, zombie. But you're in luck. Well, not in luck. I have my axe now. I wonder if this was Cinder's blessing for the start of the brand new series. Okay, so since we have a weapon, which is probably your first goal in Zomboid for something to acquire. We're gonna head over to the grocery store over here to get some food. That's the second priority. Luckily there's no uh, sprinting feral zombies around yet. Everything has been uh, pretty manageable this time, thankfully. But it won't remain like that forever, so I gotta take advantage of the time while I can. I'll take that off you. Uh, I'll take your leather gloves. And your nightstick. I could use another weapon. Let's put that on my belt. So it'll lessen the weight of it. And I'm gonna put on this bulletproof vest as well. And your helmet. That's ac that's extra protection. All right, let's continue to the grocery store. Too bad I can't find a bag yet. There's a lot of cop zombies around as well. I'm 
trying to read all the maps we possibly can for Louisville so I have information about the area before I head there. Any sodas in here? Nope. Not seeing zombies in there, but we gotta be careful. I'm not used to sprinters. Ooh, we're just gonna eat these chips right here. Less to carry home. And let's equip the garbage bag. Just toss everything in there. Just take everything. Loot first, ask questions later. I hear that zombie in the back room. Trying to keep my ear out for any others sneaking up on me. This is a lot of good food. I'd be set for the rest of the series with all this. Let's see, any sodas? We got an orange soda. I saw it. There we go. And a regular soda, too. Any magazines? Like the herbalist. Hmm. Okay, nothing. Cigarettes, but I'm not a smoker. I'll take the lighter. Take the matches. Uh, let's see who's in here. Oh, that was close. You've got a bag. I'm glad I checked you. An axe and a bag just this soon? That's foreboding for me to have so much good loot so soon. Let's take everything and put it in the duffel bag. Read this map real fast. See if it matches up with what we have. No, it does not. But that's still more information. We got more food. I'll gladly take that off your hands. More chips. And orange soda and some rotten fruit. And that's it. So let's head over to the next part of this place. Wow, this place has a lot of back rooms. Okay, what do we got here? Some bleach and soap. Magazine, tarp. Uh, nothing much so far. Ooh, a saw. That's a good find. Sponge and bleach. I'm not going down those two halls over there. That looks terrifying. Okay, let's see what's in here. Canned food, but I don't have a can opener. I see you, zombie. Why don't you come outside where we can 1v1 in the parking lot? Zombie? Zombie, I, I know you saw me. I'm not going back in there after- okay, there you are. Child zombie. It was all stuff I really couldn't open, so let me double check. And rotten food, so yeah. Let's check upstairs for stuff, maybe. Oh, like a little break room, that's cool. Empty boxes. A shovel? I'll take one of those, you might need to dig some holes. Nothing else really. Let's check the lockers, paper clips, uh, dance magazines. I'll take those. More junk. Wait. Yeah, hiking bag. Okay. Two bags in a row. Last time I had this much loot, I died. Let's just switch everything over here real fast. Our own soda. Eat some chips. Time for a snack break. 
so I went and took the stuff back and now I'm headed back down to look at these cars in the parking lot area. I don't want to head out tonight, it's too late, so I'm just going to continue to look for some more loot nearby before we leave my church tomorrow. Got some more cop zombies, there must be a cop car around here somewhere. see. Oh, yes, there they are over there. I see them. Let's take care of these guys real fast. Ah! Not allowed, sir. Stop it! Oh, that scared me. Almost got took out by a fat zombie. Nothing in the trash piles. Let's check these cop cars for any weapons. Uh, a wrench. That's a weapon and a pinch. Let's check the trunk of this one. Locked. Let's check their glove boxes. Pistols, so I'll take the walkie talkie, but I don't want to take the gun. I'll take the rosewood map. We can have that back. Uh, stuff that I'm not going to use. Let's check the glove box in this one. Matches. Add another map, we'll read that. Take that back. Taking the key out of habit, apparently. Nothing. Alcohol wipes. And that's it. So let's check the cars over here. Another, another cop zombie, it looks like. There are just so many cop zombies nearby. Oh, there is a, 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 a... I almost said brigade. A barricade there, so it would have been a, a large scene before the apocalypse. Well, during. When everything was going down. Nothing on the map. Nothing else, so I'm gonna check these cars and we're probably gonna time skip ahead if there's not really anything of interest over here. So here we are, end of day one. I'm gonna take my sleeping pills so I can sleep despite being in severe pain. And I'll see you all in the morning. Alright, day two. Losing health as always because of our wound. Change the bandages. Let's listen to the radio. I actually found the emergency broadcast and I forgot to mention that I do have expanded helicopter events on for this series as well so we need to keep an ear out on the channel. Unless I'm wrong I think you can still detect if there is a helicopter event on the emergency broadcast channel for expanded helicopter events. During my testing I actually had um, one event happen which was the supply drop. Alright, let's listen here. Blackout. Average temperature. Okay, the weather is gonna be rainy. We can handle the rain. More rain, of course. Alright, nothing about a chopper event. Yeah, so now it's time to head out. We're gonna get the heck out of March Ridge today. And we're gonna take the fastest route out of here. Mysterious shed. Post out here. I am censoring this entire section because I have said a lot of words that YouTube does not allow. Ugh. That was awful. I hated that. 
Got some weapons at least, though, but it wasn't worth that. Okay, maybe it was worth the axe. I hate the jump scare sound so much. Alright, rearranged my inventory to carry as much as I can. Got another axe out of that, though, so... I've emotionally recovered now. Another map. You can have that back, just stuff that back inside you. Parking lot with some zombies here. You should tread carefully. Really glad to have this axe, though. That's really great. March Ridge map, that's pretty useful. That was weird that it didn't show up. Even though we're almost out of town, it'll still be nice to have the map. Let's get this zombie that thinks he can sneak up on us. So many swings to die. Forgot to check the trunk. Absolutely nothing. Oh, I did not see that zombie. They blended in with the trash pile. Oh, stop running at me. I hate that. Oh, I hate sprinters. Why am I doing this challenge? I hate this. It's only been a handful, but my god. More map information. Just read them all real fast. Throw them back in there with your razor for some reason in your glove box. Apparently this person shaves and drives. That is another feral. Want it come at me, bro. I'm ready. Or not. Come on. There you go, you heard me! Ah. I'm fine. This is fine. Nothing. I could at least get some good loot out of this. Matches and maps. Uh, gift from mom. Don't forget to visit grandma's grave if you can. Grandma doesn't need any grave visiting anymore. She visits her own grave now. I can have all that back, but I want the matches. Hold on, I wanted to take a look at the map we just found for Martridge. Make sure I'm on the right path. Oh my god, that is so far. We have to do that all on foot. Well, place your bets now, folks. I'm gonna follow this road right out of town. A lot of child zombies hanging around. Probably because I turned off the evolving factor. So no brutes, hopefully. Alright, looks like... Yeah, I see another cop event up here. Maybe we can get some good weapons, like a night stick or two. Just gotta be careful, watch out for the sprinters, and everything will be fine, right? Oh, and this thunder. Let's just pull them in one at a time. Ah, I see you behind me. Thought you could get the drop on me, I don't think so. bazillion to go. I'll take that watch, though. Get rid of this crummy classic watch. Nobody wants that trash. Alright, why are there a bunch of you jumping over that fence? I don't like that. Oh, some prisoners. I wonder if Jay is among them. Too bad, this is manageable. Just keep it calm and cool. Hope nothing runs up behind me. 
That's the added thread with sprinters, because like you never know when they're gonna come up behind you. And there won't be enough time to react if you have some in front of you. At least with my skill level. No lunging. It's not allowed. Just... Oh my god, just die! I can get better at my ground attacks. Take your vitamins. Any nightsticks or anything useful that I want that is not a gun? A nightstick? Pretty good weapons in a pinch. Well, not in a pinch, they're a pretty good regular weapon. They last quite a while. I think we're gonna have a snack and take a break in this car and end the episode here for now. Getting kind of rainy. I don't want to get too wet and get a cold. Let's have some cereal. Yeah, let's take a break and organize our loot and figure out where we are going to be staying for tonight. It's getting a little late. It's not terribly late, but I do need to think about either if I'm going to stay in town tonight or find a car to sleep in out of town. I would like to make some more progress today on foot. Thank you all so much for watching everyone. This is Genuine Toad. I'll see you in the next one, and I'm happy to have you here.